Hi friends, welcome to my channel and in this video I am going to show you how to deploy SQL Server database on Microsoft Azure just step by step. So in last video we have deployed one SQL Server on my uh, Azure account so you can see you have no SQL Server database so but in last video we have deployed the SQL Server in our infrastructure so there was two way to create a or like a, a deploy SQL Server database you can go here and click create a SQL Server database and it will ask you the database name like you can put ADM SQL DB01 and here you can see the premium this uh, the service tire basically so I'm going with the standard and leave the uh, collections default and you can see the uh, select the name or if you want to deploy the this SQL server in new uh, this SQL database in new server then you can select the new SQL server database and click next and then it will show you the login name and credential to put here so this is the first way and I'm going to create uh, this by uh, showing you second way so just click on server and select and go to database we have you can see under the this server we don't have data, any database so I'm going to create database on my last server which we have created in last video so create SQL database it will give you the so only one page and you have to put here SQL server database name SQL DB01 and you have to select the standards so I'm going to put the uh, service tab on a standard and you can see the uh, like performance level so I'm going to select the 0 1 uh, S, S0 basically so here you can see the call by the uh, collections I'm going to leave the collection default and it will show you the server and the server is this and available also so click on ok so it will take some time and deploy the SQL server database in your infrastructure so just wait so successfully submitted the request for SQL Server database on server this and successfully submitted the request the same thing click OK and now you can see the status it's SQL Server name and status is creating replication none location subscription server on which this server is running SQL database is running and the size and the attire which is edition basically so standard so just give it few seconds then you can see the uh, creating is done and the status is running so just wait for a second and if you want to browse like you if you have multiple SQL server or uh, database is running you can click on servers and identify go to direct on the servers from here so just wait for few seconds so now you can see the status is uh, online for our database and the uh, server standard size so click on it and now if you go to dashboard here you can see the like size we don't have used any size like it's free zero percent used and here you can see the details like uh, you can see the latest SQL server update is enabled the server name which is need to be used to connect with this database actually so we'll see the uh, connectivity in next video so this is the server name status if you want to like mm, these all the details are there so created date Sunday and the time here so good to know on the monitoring you can see the performance basically so storage successfully connectors connections everything and scale you can you can upgrade the uh, your database size anytime like if you want to upgrade the performance level you can update also you can update the like size if you want to degrade size or maximize size if just for example I want to move it from S0 to S1 select and you can uh, minimize the database size also so I'm going to select it to 50 you can see the same and if you go with 
S3 you can see the same thing so if you go to premium then you can see the other things here and you can see the database size is increasing as well as so for now I'm going to use up upgrade it from S0 to S1 and just put the size uh, 250 GB and click on save so updating database submitted successfully click OK and if you go again you can see the standard but it's running 0 to S1 S0 to S1 so it will take some time you can see scale operation is in process so it will take some time and you might not be able to change the per, uh, other properties this, this time so no problem go here and you can uh, uh, select the automatic export options like if you want to export this database automatically uh, uh, for like uh, for your rotation policy you can put here like every frequency every one day or 10 days you can put anything like 5 specify the frequency so you can put 7 here and you can specify the date and time by when you want to start this like 11 and you can set the time also and you just need to put the server login credential here and then you can click on save and this will uh, like create an automatic script to uh, export the your database so don't want to do this and this is like uh, you can say the replication I don't want to replicate this uh, this server anywhere but if you want to replicate this uh, SQL server database to any secondary server you can add here like choose the server and click next if you don't have any server then put the login credential then it would create a new server and it will add to the replication for the server so same inherit auditing setting from server because I have put in my inheritance server uh, inheritance policy and on my SQL server so you can see from here it's and editing from here uh, from this server only so now you can see the standard uh, the uh, the addition has been changed from standard s0 to s1 so this is all about the sql server uh, uh, deployment of sql server database on my uh, microsoft uh, azure and in next video i'm going to show you how to connect uh, uh, with this database by using your windows machine so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query related to this please post me on my given mail ideas thank you once again bye bye